Hello guys and gals, and this is the end of the month channel review for December of 2022. In other words, technically I said the last channel review was going to be the last one of the year, but this is technically the first one of the new year. It is technically January 1st when I am recording this. It is actually 1.33 a.m. January 1st of 2023. Now. We're going to go over some Google, some YouTube analytics, and um, then future projects. So it's best to stick around for that because there will be some changes to the channel, but nothing drastic. So anyways, let's see. We're at 280 total subscribers, which is awesome. Um, I've already went over the yearly, the yearly stuff. So um, we went over the yearly stuff in the last one. So we're not going to go over the yearly stuff again. But we have 8.4K views, which is apparently is up, and 136 hours watch time hours, which is also up. So, anyways, let's go to the analytics and figure this out. It says your channel got 8,460 views in the last 28 days. That's pretty cool. Wait, it says something about research. What's this research thing? It's a... Oh. Experimental insight from U.S. viewers. Okay, I'll check that out some other time then. That, they must have added that. I didn't, this, that wasn't there last time I checked. So anyways, um, oh, we can do this. It says that we got, um, okay, wait, what did that say? Oh, 2.8K more than usual, which is good, meaning that the views are up, which is good. Um, watch time in hours, it's 26 more hours than usual, which is good. I like the little peaks and valleys, that's good. Um, and we had 18 subscribers, about the same as the previous month, which is pretty good. 18 subscribers is awesome. Um, I'm always humbled by people who actually want to subscribe to my content, which is mediocre at best. Now, um, okay, I do know about that movie. I still do want to um, post that on the other channel, and I just haven't yet. It probably needs to be there. Um, there's a product review and a bunch of Pokemon stuff, and it looks like some of the Pokemon Scarlet content's doing really good. Now, I realize that you can actually record video using your Switch, so I'm, I've got some better quality videos coming out. Promise. And then that's a Pokemon Go video. I don't know which one it is. So, anyways, this is basically, um, wait. Yeah, th that's the top content. Okay, that's fine. So, now we have, um... Real time, 509 views within the last 48 hours, which is awesome. Um, product, product. Oh, making a map in Heroes of Might and Magic actually got quite a few views. That's awesome. And um, that's how to fix the bug or whatever in Steam. I'm surprised that that bug still exists. Um, and um, I basically made that video on a whim because I couldn't find any information on it. So I went to, this, to the forums, found the solution, and then made a video about how to fix it. And I think that ideally that's what people should do if they have YouTube is if there's a problem, they need to make a video on how to fix it. And at the time, there were no other videos like that on the on the Internet. So anyways, let's go content here. OK, we've already went over this 2.8K more than usual. This is 16 percent more. Oh, this is the impressions. I don't, don't really know what impressions are, what it has to do with anything, but OK. Um, I'm, I haven't checked shorts because the shorts don't usually do very well. They, they've gotten 12 views within the last 28 days. And so, yeah, I don't, oh, sorry. Um, so we're just going to do videos right here. Um, well, we, we could check posts. Whoa. Posts are doing pretty good, actually. I never do, do never um, actually post videos. Usually it's just my schedule. So anyways, let's see what we got here. Um, let's see. Okay, we... The, we got the impressions. Okay. Um, impression click through 3.2%, which I guess is good. We got some some valleys and some peaks there. And average duration, duration is 58 seconds, which is why my product reviews are usually so short. Because YouTube tells me that the average duration is like under a minute. Which makes sense. Because that's about my attention span too. Anyway, we have the, the top videos here. Um... Yeah, that's all pretty good. Okay. And we already we went over those top videos, so we're not going to. 
Okay, how viewers find your video. Browse feature is 37%. Suggested video is 34.8%. I'm glad YouTube is suggesting my videos. YouTube search is 12.5% and external is 9.1%. Okay, let's see. Do Jolly Ranchers. Okay, Jolly Rancher, that was the lit drink, I think. The Jolly Rancher watermelon flavor. GB Podcast 18. Okay, I have no idea. That's Blood of the Tribe. Wait, I haven't heard of any of these. But if it's suggesting my content, then I'm all for it. Um, Haribo, Lady of Heaven, and that's making a comeback, apparently. Um, I don't really know much about that movie, but it was kind of fun to do a um, reaction video to The Lady of Heaven, which is pretty cool. Um, let's see, Google Search is the main source, mainly. Then Creator Studio, Bing.com, which is on my phone, and Yahoo Search, okay. External sites or apps. Okay, so... Playlist featuring me, Microsoft Sudoku, yep, Walt Disney Robin Hood, okay, Leaves of Gold, yeah, and Microsoft Solitaire Collection. I'm glad to see that these are getting some some recognition. Key moments, if I wanted to analyze these, I could figure out where the top moments were, um, the spikes, when the spikes were, um, stuff like that. Um, cool. Anyways, let's check the audiences here. Um, we have returning viewers, which I do love, and new viewers. It's always good to see new viewers on the channel. This is, if I were to ever stream, then this would be when the best time to stream would be, but I don't stream usually. Um, let's see, we have all ages here, and uh, that's good. Um, male is primary here at, we're going to say 80%, and female is at 20%. That's a nice gender ratio. Um, any gender ratio is a good gender ratio. Um, top geography is United States, 40%. India, that's good. I love India. I love the, the, the spicy curry from there. Um, they have a wonderful culture in India, that's for sure. Uh, there's the United Kingdom, Indonesia, and Russia. It's really nice to see that we have some Russian fans. Um, let's see, 91.5%. 1% do not use subtitles. Um, 8.9 probably get a shock because I have no idea. All those subtitles are YouTube generated, so I have no idea what they are. And I don't usually watch with subtitles. Watch time for subscribers. Oh. What do they mean? Watch time from subscribers. Oh. 4.3% and 95 points are not subscribed, I guess. Um, oh, I have no idea what Jibber Jabber is, but I will check it out. They do have about, uh, about the same amount of subscribers as I do, so I will check that out. If my, if my viewers are watching that channel, that must be good. So, anyways, um, let's see. We are done with this now. Um, I'm going to get the, the list out here. And mainly what we're going to talk about is um, the schedule. We're going to go back to dashboard for now. Um, okay. Usually it's always it's Microsoft Solitaire Collection. We still have, or I still have, year, probably months and months of um, Microsoft Solitaire Collection. I post one a day, but I record two a day. So, And um, actually it's... It's three a day on Sundays, so um, but that one's all caught up basically. Um, the weekly, the Microsoft Solitaire weekly challenges. That's every Monday at six p.m. Uh, the Red Random Pokemon Red Randomizer is every Tuesday. Every Wednesday is Hair Cross Brick Break, but every Thursday, a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday will be different because. I've already played through Hexen three times with each of the three playable characters, so I'm going to be doing a different game. Uh, more on that later. Um, every Friday is um, making a map in Heroes of Might and Magic 3. The Binding of Isaac is Saturday, and Sunday is Microsoft Solitaire Collection, basically to help get that backlog done, which does absolutely nothing. So, um, there will still be... Pokemon Scarlet content, I found out that you can actually record video content on your Switch and then convert it to a laptop. So the footage is going to be a lot better than me 
using my phone over my switch and that. So that is progress. Now, Tuesday is still going to be card openings. It's going to be Yu-Gi-Oh! Again, until Dollar General gets back their Pokemon cards. I don't know what happened. They had a bunch of Pokemon cards, and then they had none. I don't know. Maybe there was a recall or something. Who knows? Anyways, um, let's talk about this. Okay. The game that's going to replace Hexen is The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. And yeah, this is a, a strategy guide. I don't know how I'm supposed to read this. The writing is way too small, but okay. And it's um, thousands of pages. I don't know. Um, I It's going to be interesting. I haven't recorded any footage from this game yet. And hopefully I'll be able to. I should be able to. Um, 500. Yeah, there's like 700 pages in here. Um, I have no idea anything about this game. Just that I, you know, I bought it from a Steam sale like a couple years ago. Oh, and somebody tore out this page, whatever this was. This page was. It's okay. I got it from a thrift store. So basically, and when I bought this, I also bought like um, the strategy guide to Pokemon Platinum. I bought like five or six strategy guides. So I had like 50 pounds of books just because I bought all the strategy guides that a um, thrift store had. Um, but that's okay. So anyways, I do have a strategy guide for Skyrim, The Elder Scrolls V. Um, Oblivion is also one I want to play, but I thought I would probably start off with Skyrim. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should probably do Oblivion first, but I have a strategy guide for Skyrim, so that's basically why I chose this one. Anyway, so, yeah. Let's go, let's go back. Uh, this. Anyways. So, yeah. I'm gonna, I look forward to playing, um, Skyrim. I do have enough footage from Hexen for next week, and then this is going to be the following week. So, there's that. Everything else is going to be about the same. Still, product reviews every day, 9 p.m. Um, card openings every Tuesday. Pokemon Scarlet every, every Monday. It's soon to be Pokemon Violet. I went to a Walmart looking for Pokemon Violet. They were sold out. I mean, so we're going to go to a different Walmart next week. Maybe I can find it. Um, but yeah, maybe I should have bought Violet first because I didn't realize, I thought everyone was going to go buy Scarlet, you know? All the polls were saying, oh, I'm going to go buy Scarlet. I go to Walmart and they're almost sold out of Violet. Then I actually want to buy the game that's sold out. So anyways, I am going to try to get a copy of Pokemon Violet, but I just haven't had a chance yet. Have the money. I just can't get Walmart to take my money if they, they're sold out of the game I want. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, the channel is very healthy and that's good. I appreciate people who subscribe. You don't have to subscribe. None of my content is ever paywalled. Um, but I will say, um, let's see, I will do, um, just a quick review of the second channel. Um, second channel, I'm probably going to do Pokemon Smasher Pass for a while, just basically because it's content I don't need to edit and it's going to be. With me starting a new game on the channel, I'm going to need more time. So it's going to be Pokemon Smasher Pass for the next few weeks, just basically because it's easy content for me to make. And it's not going to be lazy content either, because if you haven't seen the last Pokemon Smasher Pass, which was Gen 1, I explain why a Pokemon is Smasher Pass. Then not like Markiplier, who was just like Pass or Smash. I'm actually explaining things here. Um, doesn't make me any better or anything. It's just that I'm giving reasons here, people. Anyways, um, also that channel, I'm probably going to upload that. I don't know. I'm still working on, um, thinking of content for that channel, actually. And I, and content always goes live on that channel every Thursday at 6 p.m. Usually, if I remember. And, uh, so yeah. Look for longer content on there, especially the Smash and Pass videos. Usually, Smash and Pass videos usually take an hour and a half or so. First one took an hour and 27 minutes. So, lots more content on the channel I don't really pay too much attention to. Um, anyways, I am looking forward to the new build of The Force of Love. That is what the first game that I basically uploaded to the channel. I realize that there's probably a new build out. I just need to download it and play it. Um, I am part of their 
Patreon, so I do have access to the new build, every new build that they come out with. I just haven't yet. I also have access to the Android versions of the build. Couldn't quite get the Android version to work on my on my tablet, though. But that was the f very first build, so they probably updated it and upgraded it since then. But anyways, with all that being said, both channels are doing really well. I'm actually surprised that the second channel is doing as well as it is, which is nice. Um, but yeah, um, still expect a lot of the same stuff, expect some different stuff. And anyways, that's going to do it. Um, if you stuck around to this point of the video, then wow, you're a champ. That's awesome. Um, if not, that's cool too. Anyways, um, if you like this content, make sure you like and subscribe, ring the bell so you know when I upload. Also, if you want to support me in any way or if you want to join the Discord server, all the information will be in the description below. As always, thanks for watching, everyone. You are loved and have a great day.